world. That is our purpose here on life, or on earth. We can talk about all kinds of the permissive will of God and the absolute will of God and all this other stuff, church talk. I'm tired of church talk. This is the real thing. Our job here is the reconciliation of the world, is to impact the world around us. If it wasn't, we would accept Jesus as our Savior and get shazam into heaven, but we don't. Why don't we? Because He needs us to join Him in His ministry. So as a soldier, you get your mission. My mission is to take this beach and to secure the beachhead for the invasion of France, the freedom and the liberation of the, of the world around us. This is my mission. But we know that as soon as bullets start flying, the mission sometimes goes south. As we say, Mr. Murphy shows up. If anything can go wrong, it will. So what do we have to fall back when Mr. Murphy shows up? We can call it the devil. We can call it the world. More likely, we can call it ourselves. Because saying the reconciliation of the world, that's easy. Doing it is a whole nother ball game. Just like saying, I could storm that beach. Dude, I was in the Army for 17 years. Been to more schools. My DD-214 looks like a G.I. Joe action figure card. But I'm here to tell you, stepping out of that boat, running into machine guns and mortar fires against concreted positions, people that are zero in their weapons to where you're running at, that takes a special kind of, I'll say it in church, balls. That's right. Now, what we have to fall back on as soldiers is we have our commander's intent. You see, our commander didn't just leave us out there flapping. We have a good commander, and he gave us an intent. And all I got to do now is find it. There it is. So, Matthew 22, verse 34 is our commander's intent. Hearing that Jesus had just silenced the Sadducees, the Pharisees got together. So Sadducees are the lawyers, and the Pharisees are the priests and the schooled and the learned in Israel at that time. One of them, an expert in the law, tested him with this question. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. And then, this is the first and the greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. Our commander's intent is to love God and love each other as we love ourselves. So, where are we going with this? Well, loving God sounds easy. And you know what? We'll get back to that at a later date. What I want to talk to you about today is loving your brother or your neighbor as yourself. You see, that's the harder of the two. Because God doesn't offend me. God, I have an expectation of God, and I know He's going to do what He says He's going to do, and He just does it. And I'm cool with that. And I can even say, you know what, if it doesn't work out, well, His ways are a little bit different than my ways, and it's God's will, and here I am. So I'm just going to deal with it, and it's God. But when super glue offends me, that's a whole bunch harder. That's right. When my wife offends me, my kids, my friends, my brothers, that's a, that's a very hard deal. And see, that's not even the hardest. Jesus has a discussion with the apostles, and one of them, I believe it's Peter, says, how many times must I forgive my brother? So my brother, another believer, somebody else that's accepted Christ, that's playing by the same rules of life that I'm playing by, how many times must I forgive my brother? And he says, seven times? 
And Jesus says, no, not seven times. Seventy times seven. Now, if you take a regular lifespan of a human being and you can do the math, 70 times 7, that's somebody sinning against you every 45 seconds. That's a lot of sin. And he says, but he throws this caveat on the, in here, and sometimes I'll be truthful with you, I hang my hat on this. With repentance, forgive your brother. So when my brother repents and goes the other way, I forgive him. If he doesn't, I can forgive him, but I keep him at a cautious length away from me until he turns his way around. Now, 